Yo, 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 welcome, 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 welcome to the latest edition of the Simply Ball Drop podcast, streaming on the YouTube airways. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, K Sap. And today, man, we got a serious show lined up for you guys. But when you come across the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you got your post notifications on so you'll know every time Simply Ball Drop and Drops another hot banger. If you're new to the platform in the channel, please hit that subscribe button share the video out and give it a thumbs up i see everybody in the comment section hashtag salute and you know what my mantra is tell a friend to tell a friend it might not be for you but it might be for them well let's get right off into it man we got to take this one all the way up to boulder colorado uh there's some breaking news out of boulder colorado um we know the season that the colorado buffaloes had and we know the exceptional play that quarterback Shador Sanders has played throughout the year. But we also know that he was the most sacked quarterback in college football. Now there's reports out there now that he sustained an injury in that Oregon state game. If you recall in the post game press conference after that loss, Deion Sanders took to the podium and he addressed the podium because the, the media was asking questions about, you know, Shador, because he was hobbled, limping around. And Dion said that, yeah, Shador took a quarter zone shot, you know, at halftime just to sustain some of the, the hurt and the pain. But now the reports come out because if you notice the last game of the season against Utah, Shador Sanders did not take the field. He set out that game. Now there's reports out there stating that he has a fracture in his back. That he literally, like Mike Tyson said, I broke my back. But um, this is that's serious. Um, you know, Deion Sanders Jr., he runs their well off media. He covers a lot of things that Colorado Buffaloes was doing throughout the course of the season, posting videos, giving us insight, and you know, giving us video footage of their practices, on campus things, guys in the meetings training room, um, lifting weights and things like that, reporting everything, on-field stuff through the course of the game, posting on his social media site. Um, there was a video that's now surfacing with Deion Sanders Jr. Um, that they recorded yesterday, and Shador Sanders was on that video. Um, I don't have the video clip, um, but there's reports out there on the AP that there's an article out there and I just want to read to you from the AP on what that article has stated. Um, take a listen to this. The AP stated Colorado quarterback Shador Sanders missed season finale at Utah with a fracture in his back, according to video. Boulder, Colorado AP. Colorado quarterback Shador Sanders missed the season finale at Utah on Saturday due to a fracture in his back. According to a YouTube video posted by Well Off Media, like I stated, that's ran by, you know, Deion Sanders Jr. This site is run by one of the co um, one of Coach Deion Sanders' children and has been tracking the Buffaloes with behind the scenes footage throughout the season. The title of the video, Colorado ends their season four and eight with a loss to Utah. Pac-12 refs are terrible. Shador's injury. It's unclear when Shador Sanders suffered the injury. He was sacked 52 times this season behind a struggling offensive line that Deion Sanders has pledged to bolster before next season. Shador Sanders needed at least two pain numbing injections this season to get through games and a few days off of practice every so often to recover from hits. Sanders discussed his latest injury on the video as he walked onto the field Saturday. He was asked if the injury would be revealed after the Utah game. He wasn't sure. A graphic flashed on the screen saying he has a fracture in his back. Then it also, he goes on to say, it's crazy because I feel good, bro. This is him talking on the video. Shador told Deion Sanders in the video. But when I start running for real, it's like the idea is like, ah, I feel good. But real, realistically, you can't. I can't even throw right now. His father and coach Deion Sanders didn't get into details about his injury after the game, saying only that he's been hurting for a while. 
Also, the report stated the door was sacked 52 times in 2023 as his team finished four and eight in his first season at Colorado with his father, Dion, as coach. Grant Wilson of Old Dominion was the second most sacked quarterback in major college football with 51. Despite the lack of protection from his offensive line, Shador Sanders still set a school record for passing yardage in a season with 3,230. He ranked ninth nationally in completion percentage with 69.3%. So you heard what the report stated. Now, we all been following Colorado's football season, the ups and downs, the roller coaster ride, the hot start, going three and zero to start things off, getting high praise. Had a, it was like a national spectacle. Everybody was paying attention to what Colorado was doing. A lot of beat writers, a lot of media personnel, um, as such as Jason Whitlock, trying to tear Deion Sanders down for everything. That was going on in Colorado, talking about it was a clown show, shouldn't have the rappers and the entrepreneurs and celebrities on the sideline. Went on to say that Dion has taught these young kids to go out there in a negative way to be rappers and, you know, talk about Dion was promoting this stuff at a high altitude. And that wasn't the case. Um, like I've stated before, Dion has really basically brought these kids in to try to teach them to be young men, good fathers, good husbands, good brothers, good sons, and an asset to the community. Um, Jason Whitlock has gone on to say that Deion Sanders has basically, you know, telling these kids to go out there and spend all their money on the jewelry and the flashy cars. Now we know the incident that happened with um, Shador Sanders, Rolls Royce, um, being booted and impounded for parking tickets on the college campus. And other guys in that situation have had the same thing happen. Also, we know the, uh, the jewelry incident at um, UCLA when they was playing UCLA. Some young kids broke into the locker room, stole personal belongings, cash and jewelry. But it was later recovered. Um, not all items, but some items. Um, Jason Whitlock blamed Dion for that as well. Um, the big hit on Travis Hunter against Colorado State. He blamed Dion on that as well. Said Dion is nothing but a buffoon. Um, called him out of his name a couple times. Questioned his Christian beliefs and things like that. Um, it's very indicative of the things that Jason Whitlock would say. But like I said, you know, things um, in Colorado toward the end of the year, you know, like I said, where there's smoke, there's fire. What don't come out in the wash will come out in the rents. Um, it's a lot of things that's happened. You know, you know, Sean Lewis was demoted down and Pat Shermer took over um, the head coaching. I mean, not the head coaching, but the offensive coordinator position. Now there's reports out of there that Sean Lewis is going to San Diego State as a new head coach. Now you have, you know, guys that were committed to Colorado for next year. They're decommitting. I think there's been three or four guys that decommitted, you know, five-star quarterback. Um, also, linemen um, and things of that nature. So, but Dion also stated that, you know, through the transfer portal, he wants people that want to want to play. He wants people that want to play with Colorado. You know, if you do decommitted, Dion said, God bless you. And see, that's the respect that Dion has for these kids and the nature of what they're doing. He respects their decision. Um, if the guys don't want to play, Dion don't want them. He wants people that want to come to Colorado to play and build something special. Um, it's unfortunate that Shador Sanders took a beating the way he did, but we embraced it throughout the whole college you know, football season. We endured a lot from Colorado. I mean, it was a Hot story coming in when Dion took over the program in December of 2022. You know, his famous, famous slogan, um, we coming, we coming. And, you know, thing they're here now. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, got off to a hot start. Things kind of, you know, fizzled down. Like I said, the hot start 3-0, and finished the season off 4-8, and still last in the Pac-12. But he got something to build on. Um, 
but he just want guys that are committed to playing and playing the right way and you know conveying his message to these young guys that hey you got to believe you got to believe and that's all it takes is some belief and some people to give you know that utmost respect and that confidence to play at a high level but it's unfortunate that you know Shador Sanders took a beating the way he did hopefully the young guy recovers and comes back even stronger um because it, it could be a fun ride next year um it started off high, but it like kind of fizzled out. But they're on the right path. Um, a lot of people don't think Dion can, you know, get the, get Colorado to where they need to be. But he showed glimpse. He showed glimpse. But you guys, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Um, keep giving the video a thumbs up. Keep sharing these videos out. Keep supporting the channel. Um, keep posting your comments. Um, this is gonna wrap up another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, KSAP. We're going to catch you on the next one. Deuces. Thanks for listening to the Simply Ball Drop-In Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share on all major platforms. Another one.